this video we will be talking about data frames and going over some very basic um, functions and ways to look at the information in a data frame. For this example we'll be using a data frame um, that I've named Poverty. It's from a data source or a data set that I downloaded from Kaggle that has information uh, related to poverty. If you want a sneak peek of what that looks like I'll show you a quick little view. Um, so yeah, here's some of the columns, um, things like country, age, female, religion, education level, literacy, um, things like that. <clears throat> so the first example that I wanted to go over was viewing a single column. There's two different ways to do that. Um, the first one is using the dollar sign operator. Um, so you do the name of the data set or the data frame and dollar sign. And when you do that, a list of all of the columns pop up. So for this example, I'll just choose age. And as you can see here, um, the age value uh, for every single row printed out. Uh, the second method of viewing um, columns in a data set is using the brackets. So again, we'll type the data frame. Bracket, now this is like an index. So the first one is for row and the second one is for column. So I'll do the first row, comma, and then the fourth column. And I know that this is the age column. So then I'll run that and you can see right here um, that the age column has a value of 57 for the first row. Now it isn't always easy to remember the order of the columns. So you can also simply do the name of the column like so. so again you get the same result okay but how do you view multiple columns at the same time well we can use our bracket method again so name of the data frame brackets um, this time I'll do column number two and we will use the C operator which allows us to look at multiple values so C um, parentheses and then I would just list out the column names. So I know that there's an age column, there is a married column, and a religion column. And when I run that, you can see that for row number two, we have the age, married, and religion column values. Um, additionally, the last thing I wanted to show you was the subset option. So we simply type subset, and then the name of the data frame, comma, select equals and then from here you can use that same uh, C function and this time I'll just do two fields for simplicity's sake um, run that and you can see that here I didn't limit it based on the row number so it printed out every single row um, but only the column values for age and married Okay, thank you.